Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Review stuff. And today, we're reviewing here it is. No, today we are reviewing popcorn. I am so excited about this review. I was actually gonna go through McDonald's and review a smoothie, and then tomorrow I was gonna review Smoothie King. But I'm thinking about doing um, a comparison study between the two of them. I have not had the McDonald's smoothie, but I have had smoothies from Smoothie King. We do not have a jump, a jump, is it Jamba Juice? I think it's Jamba Juice. Jamba Juice here. I wish we did though, because the times I've had it, I've absolutely loved it. But let me tell you, in our kitchen we have a ginormous box because my husband is obsessed, okay, with this skinny pop popcorn. Here it is. I look, Listen, I went to the gym today and had my personal training session, and then I came home and I just started making videos, so that what you see is what you get. <laughs> Basically beautiful. Okay. So anyway, my husband has an entire box of this that he ordered for Amazon Prime. Um, I didn't even know you could order it from Amazon Prime, but anytime he's hungry, you know my husband, he has lost a lot of weight, and so when he's hungry, he eats one of these little snacks. Although he told me tonight that he's really hungry and he wants to eat something bad, so I don't know, we'll see. But he's usually pretty good about all that. So when he's hungry, he eats one of these, um, and it is 100 calories for the whole bag, six grams of fat, um, nine carbs, two grams of dietary fiber, and two grams of protein, okay? Now, I have to tell you, I have, I've never had this popcorn. I don't, I mean, maybe, like, like if he gave me, like, a handful of it, like, I don't know, six months ago, but I've never sat down and actually eaten this as a snack, so I don't anything about it. But what I have eaten <laughs> is, and this is me and Melissa's, or Melissa and I's favorite, uh, the Popcornopolis, okay? Oh my God, and these are my two favorites. I've actually talked about this from the vlog. The birthday cake one, which you can see is right here, okay? And then the zebra popcorn, which is a caramel corn with chocolate flavored stripes. And then right here, naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Oh, this is the birthday cake popcorns. 100, or certified gluten-free. Now, I will tell you, I did a lot of research on this because I wanted to find out if it was vegetarian or vegan. Now, I will tell you the cheese ones and the ones that have dairy in them are not vegan, but the rest of them are supposedly 100% vegetarian. I looked it up. If, that, if I am wrong, I could not find it. I went, I Googled everything on here possibly. I went on their uh, website, I went to their frequently asked questions, which interestingly enough, that is not one of their frequently asked questions, but I did Google articles about it. So, now let me tell you how my love for Popcornopolis started, okay? And it doesn't roll off my tongue quite as well as it does off of Melissa's because she loves this stuff so much. But we would go to the movies, all of us, and Melissa and I would always get, it used to come in these like, do you know I'm talking about the plastic ones that would be tied at the top? And it was caramel corn, which I call caramel corn because I'm from Indiana, but get over it. Okay. So anyway, we would get those. We loved it so much. Oh my God, we love the popcorn opulence so much, right? Oh my God, it just ran off my tongue. Hold on a second. If I'm gonna do a video about popcorn, I should probably have some of my my uh, Christian Dior lip stuff on. I mean, why not? I'm pretty fancy like that. Fancy is as fancy does. Okay, so anyway. Uh, don't you just love his hairstyle so much? Okay, so anyway, we're gonna do this review. Now, I think out of fairness, we should probably do the Skinny Pop first. Now, I will tell you what happened, okay? So, I loved eating that at the movie theater. Well, anytime we go to the movie theater, I'd be like, I'm about to put on 15 pounds because of the por popcorn opulence, right? D don't think. I know it sounds like pornographic. No, family friendly, okay? But anyway, um, so I would think, oh, I'm gonna put on 15 pounds because I'm gonna get the caramel corn. So anyway, um, but then I was in the Kroger about six months ago. The Kroger is a grocery store. We called the in front of, okay, like the Walmart. You get it. Anyway, so I was at the Kroger and I'm looking in the deli area and they had popcorn opulence. You know, I got on my phone so quick and I called Melissa and I said, oh my God, do you know what they have at the Kroger? And she said, oh my God, what? And I said the popcorn opulence. And now we have it there. So these are my two favorites. I will tell you the zebra is my actual favorite over the birthday cake, but I <laughs> asked me why I ate this one first. Do you remember like when you had to take a speech class and you always, you learn to get your speech done first so you just get it out of the way? Well, I learned to get my least favorite out of the way first. Oh my God, then you save your favorite for the last. Okay. So here's the Skinny Pop, which I'm going to try. This is Alex's. He just loves it. He swears by it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I mean, it just smells like popcorn to me. <laughs> my mother back in the day, she loved microwave popcorn so much. We have some microwave popcorn in there too. But Alex doesn't, okay, this is the other thing. So when Alex and I go to movies with me, Melissa and Jason, who was like, we always go to movies with them and dinner and everything else, right? Melissa and I have to sit next to each other because we like butter on our popcorn and Jason and Alex don't like butter on their popcorn. Who doesn't like butter on their popcorn? That doesn't even make any sense, but I guess uh, Skinny Pop doesn't.
And it's got kind of a salty flavor to it. A little bit of buttery flavor, but not much. You know, I've tried some of these rather bland popcorns before. That, um, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, would I pick it? I need a thumbnail, don't I? Would I pick it over the popcorn opulus, which I haven't even tried in comparison to this? But you know I was sitting on my front porch eating it last night while I was watching Orange is the New Black. Oh my god, this season is so sad. I'm almost done. I only have two episodes left, but it's making me so sad. Would I pick this over the popcorn opulus? No, but if it was the only thing in the house, would I eat it? I mean, probably. Or I would go to the grocery store. <laughs> would I go to the grocery store over eating this? <laughs> probably. <laughs> I mean... It's less than a 10 minute dry. Yeah, this is not a whole lot of taste to it. I mean, right here it says on the top of it. Are you ready? I'm not, I can't even make this up, okay? No artificial ingredients, non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, peanut-free, tree nut-free, preservative free. It sounds like it's just free of anything enjoyable. No artificial flavor, zero trans fat, and delicious. Well, it's okay. Would it feel, oh my God, the battery's gonna die. You guys, hold on just a second. Okay, we're back. Now, I don't know how much juice there is in this battery, so I hope to God it lasts. But I will tell you, um, I, this isn't bad, but I don't know that delicious is the word that I would use for it, okay? Would it fill me up if I was really hungry until my next meal? Yeah, probably. Um, would I choose it to sit and watch a movie like I did last night, or would I rather have hot tamales and goobers? Um, I would rather have hot tamales and goobers all day long, okay? And don't even come for me for the word goobers, because I love that candy so much. But anyway, oh my god, Junior Mints never turned one down. <laughs> but we watched a movie last night. We watched Maul. Should I do a review of Maul? We watched that movie last night. And so I got the popcorn opulus. But I didn't even really eat any much. I didn't really eat much of it. Okay, so let's try this. Now, I'm on their website for frequently asked questions, and there's really nothing on here about, you know, anything good. Where can I buy your premium product, it says. Right here, Popcorn Opulus, of course. <laughs> their website is cute. Um, and what does gourmet mean? Is Popcorn Opulus gluten-free? Is popcorn corn? Where does popcorn come from? <laughs> Most American popcorn is grown in the Corn Belt, which includes Indiana. Indiana! <laughs> Illinois, Iowa, Missouri, Nebraska, and Kansas. We're fortunate to work with expert caring Midwestern farming families. Yes! I love that. Who harvest the highest quality of kernels for our gourmet recipes. All right. Um, and then it goes on. It asks, all, uh, how long does your popcorn stay fresh? Six months. Um, can you say that, Skinny Pop? Probably. Okay. I mean, there would be like, you know... <laughs> The end of the world would come and popcorn would still be around. Can you ship my order to arrive on a future day? Oh, that's kind of an interesting question. Yes, if you'd like us to. Okay, let's see what they have. Best. Oh my God, they have Halloween gifts. Oh my God, Melissa is going to die. Okay, Halloween bats, two gallon popcorn tin. You can pick whatever kind you want. 47 32 that's expensive. And now I will tell you, this popcorn is expensive. I can't even open it. Monsters, eight mini cones. There's little cones. Oh my God, you guys, they have the best stuff for popcorn. Our best stuff for Halloween. Okay, they have Autumn Harvest, five cone pop. They have the cones I'm talking about, right? So if you're looking to have a Halloween party, you could go there. They have really cute stuff. Okay, what else do they have? Let's see, best sellers. Cre you can create your own party tins. Cones by the, the cones are what I was talking about in plastic. Okay, everyday snacks. Shop by flavor. Let's shop by flavor. And while we are, I will be eating the birthday cake. So let me show you what the birthday cake looks like. Okay, you ready? Do you see the little birthday cake pieces in there? Oh my God. Mmm, almond car caramel. I've never seen that. But quite frankly, I don't like, no, oh my God, popcorn is so good. But I don't really like almonds anyway. I love peanuts, therefore the goobers, but cashews, screw off. I don't like weird nuts. <laughs> Family friendly, but I don't, okay? I don't like weird nuts. Now, I do like macadamia nuts. <laughs> Are we really having, um, a conversation about nuts. Who's nuts? D's nuts. Okay, family friendly. But anyway, I don't like almonds. I definitely don't like an almond joy, okay? When people give me those on Halloween, I would say, you can kick rocks. I don't want your almond joys. I'd give them to my mom, okay? <laughs> I hate those almond joys. They still make them. Ugh, gag -a -maggot. Um, Cashews. Okay, anyway, we don't need all that. But okay, they have cheddar cheese. I've never had that. Oh my God, they have cinnamon toast. 
formerly known as our flagship retail uh, flagship retail store as churro corn after the popular Mexican treat. Popcorn opulus cinnamon toast popcorn is a classic. Any oh my god. 50-50 popcorn. Jalapeno cheddar. Kettle corn. They got that at the store. Lemon, lemon heaven. It's like a lemon bar. Nearly naked. Boring. Oh, no, 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 no. It's coming. Pumpkin spice, you guys. Pumpkin pie lovers will rejoice over pumpkin spice popcorn. This classic fall cl flavor. Starts with our world famous caramel popcorn. Here, I'm opening this one now so I can show you guys what it is. I'm buying some of that. Red velvet. Oh, my God. It looks just like... Oh my god, they have unicorn, pop unicorn popcorn. It's a magical treat beyond compare. Each bite blends the sweetness. You guys, their popcorn is absolutely unbelievable. White cheddar zebra popcorn. Okay, so zebra popcorn, this is the end. Are you ready? It literally is not just with the pack. I mean, it has so much chocolate and stuff on here. Once you've had zebra popcorn, nothing else will ever do. And I'm telling you, it's the absolute truth. More, sir. Do you remember that from Oliver? Okay. So here is what it looks like. Do you see that? Here, I'm basically a booty guru. Look at that, so much chocolate. Oh my God. You guys, this is incredible. You have to try it, it is so good. It's basically like eating a candy bar and popcorn at the same time. It's fantastic. But I'm saving that for Orange is the New Black. Um, so I guess the question is, <laughs> oh wait, should we read the nutritional values? Zebra popcorn. Oh, 140 calories. Seven grams of fat, 20 grams of carb, and one gram of protein. You guys, it's rather comparable, but how many servings? Servings is a half cup. What's servings on here? A oh, one package. So you get a lot more for, you got a little bit more bang for your buck over here with the calories and all that kind of stuff. So I guess you gotta decide if you wanna be skinny. <laughs> Or you want to enjoy your food, okay? I'm just saying. Because this stuff right here, this popcorn opulus, is the bomb. Five stars all day long. This isn't bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's okay. I understand why my husband enjoys it now. Because <laughs> he likes rather bland things sometimes. That's probably why he's with me. I'm just saying. Okay, this is the birthday cake one right here. But if you want something that is delicious in your life, not sponsored. God, I wish popcorn opulus would sponsor me. I am so obsessed with this. This is so good. You can get it at your grocery store. I will put the website below. You can go in here and order some things. I think I'm going to order some things. I want to try the pumpkin spice and the lemon. Those are my two ones that I want to try. Oh, and the cinnamon toast one. So go underneath there and check their website out. You guys, it's fantastic. I'm, I'm telling you, if you have never had popcorn opulus in your life, do yourself a favor and just try it once. I, I, come to me and tell me it is crap, okay? Do yourself a favor and try it. I swear... You will love it, okay? I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.